Hello once again to Baking Gold on Guild Wars 2. Today again we're going to be looking at Guild Wars 2 Spidey and looking at how we can download information from Guild Wars 2 Spidey into our own Excel or other database so we can manipulate the information and make it a little bit more useful. The one nice thing about this website, and one of the many nice things about this website, is that it is open source and there is an API that has been built that we can easily retrieve information from, from it. I say easily, but Everything, of course, is relative. If you check the FAQ at the top and go to the GitHub Wiki, he has information on the API. It's at version 0.9. And remember, this is an evolving site, so things will break over time, and I will do an update video when that happens. And here he has a fairly good... Um, a description of how to use the API. The nicest thing that you can do is come down here to the examples and guides. There's one to loading into Excel and one to loading into Google Docs. I had some difficulty loading into Excel, so I'm going to show you another way that you can load into Excel. But the one for Google Docs is excellent, and I'm going to be using that a little bit later to show you the spreadsheet that I'm currently using. Instead of trying to follow this guide, what I have done is I use his, um, his same information but you come over here and you paste this URL into um, into your browser. Now this says you're going to Guild Wars 2 Spidey API version 0 0.9. CSV can be changed between CSV and JSON depending on what format you want the file to be outputted as. And this is saying that I want to get the data for item number 19697 which is copper ore. So I hit enter there and I immediately download that file. Now that file has no extension, so you're going to change it to a .txt extension. Then you can pop open Excel and go to Data Sources from Text and 19697 Import. Do, 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 do. It takes just a moment. And here it's a delimited file. Okay, so there's a character that separates each field. Yes, go to next. And it's a comma, not a tab. Next again, and finish. And let's put it in an existing worksheet. This gives us all the information we have on copper ore. Okay, data ID 19697. Down here, max unit, offer, offer unit price, min sale unit price, number available, uh, number of buy orders and sell orders that are up, all sorts of information along here. Okay. Now notice that all prices are in copper. Okay. So it's 12 copper. If it's worth a thousand, that means it's 10 silver, and if it's worth 10,000, it means it's 10 gold. Okay. Or one gold. Sorry, 100,000 to 10 gold. Um, this information gives us our headers that we are actually going to be losing here in just a minute with uh, Google Drive, which I'll hop to now. So. This is my Google Drive, and this is the spreadsheet that I've built. And the first thing we're going to go is we're going to hit Tools and go to Script Editor. So if you're going to start this, the first thing you need to do is create a spreadsheet and then go to the Script Editor. The Script Editor, as I said before, this code was written by Valetus on Northern Sherbet Peaks, if you want to get a hold of him. And what this function does is it talks to Guild Wars 2 Spidey. See, this information is virtually identical to, the, to what we typed in my browser earlier. It goes to that website and it fetches whatever item ID you gave it. And then from there, it searches for the min sale unit price. Okay, so what's it selling for right now? And it divides it into silver for us. So the slash 1000 and slash 100 is dividing into silver. And then returns that. So let's look at that in action. Here I have item number 19697. And what this does is it says equals get item cell value of that cell. And get item cell value is the name of the function that Valetus wrote in order to tell us what the cell price is. This, by the way, is his PDF document, which he has, uh, which he has posted on the uh, on the Guild Wars 2 Spidey API. So I created a second function, which is very much like it. You can do this as well. All you need to do is see this line right here. It create it takes from what information it retrieved, and it looks at this piece. 
Now if you look back at our Excel file, min sale unit price, we had a min sale unit price right there. We could look at any of these. So just just change what is after that dot to whatever you want to look at. And what I wanted is I wanted the name. So I did this. I just changed it to variable e name instead of adjusted value equals name. Okay, and I return that name, and I change the name to the name of the function to get item name. So here I get item name of one nine six nine seven. It goes to Guild Wars Two Spidey. It checks. It says, "Yep, okay, it's copper ore." Returns that to me, and there I have it. What this allows me to do is, in a single shot, see the various prices of whatever I want to watch. So one thing I've done is I've created an, a woods index and a metals index. It allows me to see the average value of the wood and the ore. So over time, I can see if it's shifting upwards or downwards. It's, it's one of the, the different measures that I'm putting together to see how the market's doing. This allows you to set up your own spreadsheet for crafting, for monitoring sales, for seeing what items are trending upwards and downwards to see what ones you want to monitor. This is just a better tool that you can devise on your own terms to see what you want to invest in. The more information you have, the better investments you can make, and this is an excellent method of getting more information. If you would like some more information regarding how to use the API, um, do contact the creator of this uh, of this excellent PDF down here at the bottom. You have his contact information, or leave a comment. We'll see what I can uh, what I can research and dig up for you. Thanks.